Doing. I'm trying to shoo away the flies. What the fuck? There are no flies, Telmo. Of course, because I'm shooing them away. <laughs> Alright, let's get today's recipe. Okay. Hello, my little friends. I'm Tula. And I'm Telmo. We, we are, are the, the little, little cooks. <laughs> Today, we are going to make a submarine filled with salad. <laughs> No, Telmo, we're not going to make that. All right. Oh, a television with potatoes! We can't make that, Telmo. We can't eat that. You got a point there, but it would be really funny. <laughs> yeah, but we're not going to do it. All right. Today, we're going to make a ham and cheese sandwich. That's great! And as well, a watermelon shake. I think that's great. And the ingredients we need for the sandwich and the watermelon shake are... Sandwich bread. Slices of Swiss cheese. Slices of cooked ham. And a little bit of butter. And for the watermelon shake... Watermelon! Lemon juice. Banana. And sugar. Now let's get to work. First thing we'll make is the sandwich. This is very easy. Just look. We'll grab a slice of sandwich bread and we'll spread a little bit of butter on the outside part. That way the bread won't stick to the toaster oven or the saucepan. And as well, it makes the bread soft and delicious. And now let's get the Swiss cheese. Right. We'll put a slice of Swiss cheese on top. Or two. <laughs> Swiss cheese is from Switzerland, and it's made from cow's milk. It tastes sweet, and it's ideal for desserts. And, of course, also for sandwiches. And on top, a slice of cooked ham. Or two. <laughs> and now, a slice of sandwich bread on top. Perfect! Mmm, it must taste very good. <laughs> yes, let's make a few of these. Yeah, uh, let's make a hundred. A hundred is too much, Telmo. All right, how about 99? We have finished making our sandwich, 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 sandwich. Out of ham, ham, and ham, and ham, and ham. And now we're going to make a shake for watermelon, watermelon, watermelon. Boop, 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 boop. Come on, let's go. This is wonderful! Yes! Oh, 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 a fly! Aha! Leave it alone, it's not doing anything. It wants to eat our sandwiches. Poor little thing. Haha, <laughs> it's a ferocious beast. But super, Telmo! I've got you. Well done, you fly! <laughs> now escape! Oh, darn it. And now, the watermelon shake. Yes. I'm going to remove this. They're very delicious. Telmo, we have to wait until they've been in the toaster oven. <clears throat> Good, my little cooks. To make the watermelon shake, we need... The blender. That's right. And to use it, we need to be supervised by our grown-up. Because we're still not allowed to use one on our own. Grown up! Can, Can you come, come here because, because we need to use the blender, blender, please? Can you turn the blender on for us, please? Tula, we also need to ask the adult to turn on the toaster for us. Oh yeah, that's true. Can you turn on the toaster oven, please? If you don't have a toaster oven, you can also heat it up in a pan. Thank you. We blend a fourth of a watermelon. 
And while Tula blends the watermelon and the banana, I'll start squeezing the lemon. Great! Now we have everything. I've blended the watermelon and the banana, and it turned out like this. I'll add the lemon juice. And I'll add the sugar. Two tablespoons. That's it! And now the sandwiches! Yes, the toaster oven should be nice and hot by now. And while the adult makes the sandwiches, let's go over the ingredients we've used. Ingredients for a sandwich. Two slices of bread, one thin slice of Swiss cheese, one thin slice of cooked ham and butter to spread on the bread. Ingredients for a watermelon shake. A quarter of a watermelon, one banana, a quarter cup of lemon juice, two teaspoons of sugar. <laughs> Everything is so good. It is delicious. Just a second. What? Uh, it's come back. Aha! It's come back to steal our food. Poor little thing. Let it eat a sandwich. We have more than enough. The, the, all right. A true hero is someone who can show compassion. Until the next time, my little cook.